Oh, not good. Not good at all. Switch weapons, please. Thank you. Ow. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on uh, the Tale of Two Wastelands Overhaul with the Capital Punishment Mod List. I'm the Bearded OG. We're going to start this episode off by going to sleep. Good night. And we have leveled after a sound sleep. All right. We want to get lockpicking to 25, and we want to get... Repair to 40. Well, now actually we ultimately want to get repair to 50. So we're just going to fast track repair. Um, and then we'll keep working on guns. Guns, lock picking and repair are my two, uh, are my three really important ones. And explosives is my next most important one. Um, you know, we'll, we'll put points in other things too later on, but that's, those are the things I want to fast track. Okay, so what this means now is we can open easy locks. So far, we've only been able to open very easy locks. All right, so we got that done. And then, um, yeah, well, let's take a look at this. So we have Gun Nut 3. We took Lady Killer and Bachelor, whatever the hell it is, thingy. So I haven't even really thought about this. Okay, what is Gunslinger? Well, using a pistol, you're actually in VATS. Uh, I don't use VAT, so that isn't going to help us. Take 50% less radiation when consuming irradiated food. You can plus three to overall damage threshold. Maybe taken twice with the second rate granting an additional three. Hmm. Okay, that's not bad, actually. That's not bad at all. Is there anything that helps us with guns or repair? Let me look through these here. Okay, so I think toughness or maybe swift learner or educated are the ones that I'm kind of thinking about. Um, there's also this balanced low, gets, which gives us 10% to carry weight. Um, okay, so let me look, let, let's look at this again. With a tough spirit, you gain 3% to overall damage threshold, and you can take it twice, so you'd, you'd have plus 6 to damage threshold. Hmm. Okay, and then educated, you gain two more skill points every time you advance in level. This perk is best taken early on. So we're still in the early game. We're only level seven, so that wouldn't be bad. Or swift learner. With each rank in the swift learner perk, you gain an additional 10% to total experience points whenever experience points are earned. That will also help us level faster. Also an early game thing, which later on would be kind of a wasted point. I don't know, is, is there a mind wipe feature in this game? I'm not really sure. I think with my mods, with the um, capital punishment mod, I think we kind of get have to do a, a bit of a start over when we go to Vegas, which is fine with me because it's, you know, I, I mean, it's kind of fine with me. <laughs> the whole point is that we can go back and forth between the two areas, but you know, so to have to start over in Vegas is not, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. And I can always disable that mod if I decide I don't want to do it. But anyway, that's beside the point. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Okay. I think, um, uh, uh, damage threshold. See, stuff like that's going to help us when we take minor damage. I don't know if DT takes away from. I don't know if it subtracts the damage that goes over the threshold. I'm guessing it probably does. That would make us quite a bit tougher. But I kind of like the idea of using this, especially, um, you know, if if it's best taken early on, which it is, and we're still fairly early. So I think we're going to do this. So we get two more skill points every time we advance. All right, that's what we're going to do. Educated. Decisions, decisions, man. Damn. Okay. Cool. Welcome to level seven, everybody. We are now level seven. 
Okay, so the plan for this episode, at least to start it, is we're going to go... I think we're ready to actually go, too. Uh, we're going to go down back into that sewer. Excuse me. And uh, just finish that out because I want to see what happened with Frank and Frankie and all that business. When we tried to do it a few episodes ago, if, if, for those of you who maybe didn't see that, I kept crashing, so I had to abandon it. But I think I've fixed the crashing problem by changing my um, my frame rate, so reducing the, the, the total frame rate. I guess time will tell. All right, so let's get back down through here. We were, we've already looted everything up to this point, and we, we got into this room, and we kept crashing when we would go down into this lower area. Oh, shit! Uh, I thought we just had... Where's he at? I thought we just had Pharaohs down here. Alright, hold on. Um... I don't even know where he's at. He's over that way somewhere. When we were down in... In here last, we didn't. Oh, there he is. Hiding would save you. Where? We didn't. There weren't any uh, humans down here. There were just the feral, you know, the zombie guys. Feral. Uh, what are they called? Ghouls. Feral ghouls. All right, where are you at, you fucker? There you are. You can't. Where? All right, we got him. You know what? We took a repair kit. Um, and I want to repair my combat shotgun. Okay, good. Because this is really good against, you know, being rushed by ghouls, provided it doesn't jam on you. Yeah, this guy was not down here before. So I guess he's just kind of a random asshole that was down here. So if, again, for those of you who didn't watch the last two or three episodes ago when we came down here, the very short version is that there were two. There were two guys. One guy's name was Frank, and he was kind of the good guy, and one and you know trying to do the right thing and all that sort of thing. And then his brother Frankie was an asshole. And Frankie was doing bad shit, including killing Frank's former girlfriend, we think, and taking drugs and, you know, trying to be a raider. And, yeah, and that's kind of all the far farther we got. We don't know what their actual fate is yet, because I kept crashing. Hey, we can open this now. Look at us and our bad selves. Not quite there. Take those. And we got to this point, and we started getting rushed by by feral ghouls, and then, you know, but we kept crashing, so. All right, we're not at full health, so let's do a... How are we doing on, like, food and stuff? We could use a little bit of water, too. Okay, so what we're going to do, then, is we're going to go to aid... I'm going to take this other steamed marler because that'll give us food, water, and 24 health points. Did we check all this stuff? We did not. So this is where we were running into the ferals. What's that? Oh, God, I hear a lot of footsteps. Okay, let's go. And of course, my field of view is all screwed up. All 
All right, so we have we basically have a little killing corridor here. It sounded like a bunch of footsteps, not just one pair of footsteps. Okay, let's advance cautiously. Oh shoot, you know what I was going to do? I was going to see if we could... What kind of... Eh, what kind of ammo we could make. Especially now that we got our repair skill up higher. Let's get um, one of these out. Yeah, I see like three barrels down there. I wonder if we could do this to them. Uh, don't screw up my field of view, please. Thank you very much. They didn't come through that doorway because our mine hasn't gone off. back up because this one might be coming across the way here. Or not. Okay, they've completely lost track of us. We have 14, 45 rounds for our silenced weapon. Okay, he's going back into there. So we took two of them out. There goes three. All right, nice. Oh no, we took we took four out. Nice. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Did I kill him? Easy safe. Hmm. Nice. Stealth boy. Definitely take the wrench.
Very easy. This is just the other end of the hallway with the, that stuff. All right, let's go this way. See, so, um, actually, no, let's go up. The first book of farming. No, I don't want that. Take the cigarettes. 136 bottle caps. Damn. Oh my god, look at all this ammo. Nice. somewhere right there yeah we have a caution there's another enemy around somewhere. Easy lock. Oh, shit. Magnum rounds. We need to put some cop coffee mugs in our dishes. Alright, let's do this. Let's grab a frag. finish checking out this upper area here. We have a door. And a caution. Spring Vale Sewer North. Let's just see where this pops out at. Take all of that stuff. I believe we've already been in here, right? Well, we didn't take the duct tape if we were. Oh. I don't think we have been in here, actually. Uh, 
give me those 32 rounds. Security armor? Guns plus five. Yeah, this has a terrible value to weight ratio. Forget it. Take the 10 mil rounds, though. Right, we have another feral over that way. down below. I believe we eliminated all of them because we are now hidden once again. There's stuff in there. Magnum rounds. Not taking the gnome. Combat stem, nice. I'll take that. Very easy locker. Okay, I'll take all that. Nothing in that locker. Garbage can. Okay, let's get a mine. Did he not see us? It's like he looked right at me. This place is pretty extensive. Improvise hemostatic pill. I have no idea what that is. Okay, that's definitely a dead end. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just, like, wandering aimlessly here. I'm totally lost. So, we'll pick up a hammer, because that's what you do when you're totally lost, is you pick up a hammer. Uh, let's go left, because... Oh, shit.
Let's go left. It's really dark down here. Oh shit. We are out of normal 45s. Now we have P rounds, which are actually tougher, but uh, they also damage our weapon a little more too. So we've reached an, a dead end here. Let's go down this way. Caution. Coming from that way. Let's take a an expired stim back and an antiseptic just to top off. There is a metric fuck ton of feral ghouls down here, man. Human flesh? Uh, no thanks. We don't roll that way. Let's go this way again. Okay, I hear a sentient enemy. Sounds like a sentient ghoul. There's a camera up there. Apparently it's not destructible. Upper level security. Uh, okay. Is it spotted us? I don't know if that camera actually does anything or not. I think it's probably just there for aesthetics. So it doesn't seem to be doing anything. All right, that's a dead end. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> I'm just wandering around aimlessly here. We can't get into a very hard locked door. Okay, so that pretty much cancels out this area. So let's retrace our steps and get back to where, wherever.
Okay, so we came through this door and I went left, so now let's go right. I am also encumbered too, but we're kind of too far down in to this place for me to drop a whole bunch of shit off. What we should probably do, though, is actually... Oh, nice. See if we can lighten up a little bit in case we have to run for our lives here. Yeah, so let's do that. Um, let's go to apparel. Oh, man, that is worth 105 caps. I really don't want to get rid of that. Oh, what the fuck, man? I'm not even wearing my armor. Or my backpack. Okay, actually, okay, so we're not even encumbered now. I'm such a noob. Can't take me anywhere. Um, let's get rid of the tire iron. We need to finish Moira's quest so we can get rid of this three-pound repellent stick, too. If we go to Misk and we go to Junk... Uh, low value to weight, low value to weight, low value to weight. Yeah, let's just toss all that crap, too. All right. Let's see where this door leads. Minus 10% limb damage and restored health. Improvised hemostatic pill. That's probably a modded item. I don't remember seeing that in vanilla. But I don't remember a lot of stuff either, so. Okay, let's see here. Can't open an average gun cabinet. Take the 10 millimeter rounds, though. Uh, all right, let's see where this door goes. Go left. Looks like we have a dead end here. And a dead body at the dead end. Keep your human flesh, feral ghoul roamer. I was not expecting this place to be this extensive. 
This is a huge place. Looks like we've arrived at a train station. Springvale Metro Maintenance. Before we go that way, let's just check down this side. I am trying to watch the ground for traps. Looks like we're at a dead end here. Okay. I go through there? Yeah. Okay, I've got the key. Um, I think I'm going to leave the lead pipe. Box of detergent. Weapon repair kit. Nice. We'll take the conductor. A radiation suit and a handyman jumpsuit. Definitely want the wrench for weapon repair kits. All right, what are these suits? That gives 40 radiation resistance. I think we want to hang on to that. What does this do? Re plus five repair. Uh, we don't really need that because we already have plus five repair with our combat armor. And this isn't worth anything either, really, to speak of, so we'll get rid of that. Um, I guess we'll hang on to that for now, but that might be one of the first things we get rid of when we... Oh, so that's why they gave us a radiation suit, eh? Do I have any damaged limbs? I do. Let's actually let ourselves get irradiated. So we can heal... Our, our limbs. We just don't want to overdo it, though. Oh, not good. Not good at all. Switch weapons, please. Thank you. Ow. <laughs> what the hell did he do? It's like he called some kind of radiation blast down on us or something. Damn. I had a premonition that we went into this place with a glowing one and... He proceeded to eat us for lunch. And in my premonition, I realized that I probably should have been wearing a radiation resistance suit to help combat that situation. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Oh, wow. Uh, you know what else we could do too is we could we could take a rad X too but let's wait on that the suit's not in the best of condition might not be a bad idea for us to also do this and this alright let's go
Let's open this desk. Okay. Carton of cigarettes. Very good value to weight ratio. <coughs> All right. We're going to... couple of these down. We're awfully close to those frag grenades. I think what I would... Can we do this? We're still hidden. Hmm. Go in a little further than this. <laughs> Whew. Got him. Guys are scary mofos, man. Two bottle caps <laughs> for all that effort. Okay. Nothing there. Where does this go? Into a bathroom. Okay, we'll take all of that. Box of detergent. All right. Let's see what we got going on in here. Nothing in those filing cabinets. We're not picking up Wonder Tales from the Huzuma, was it? There's nothing. Really? There's like no more notes or anything in here? Why did we come in here? Why did we fight one of the most dangerous enemies in this entire game to come in here for nothing? What the hell? Am I missing something? Activate the radio? Hmm. Okay. Well, there's a bunch of pre-war money on the ground. Grab all that. Um, all right, I guess... I guess that's it. At least for this leg of the enormous dungeon that we're in. Um, okay, let's retrace our steps and... See, uh, you know, there's other areas that we... Ooh, purified water. Nice. That we haven't been to yet, I think. So, I'll meet you back to wherever those areas happen to be, if I can even figure out how the hell to get back there. And we'll go from there.
foreman's office. We probably don't need this now, this suit, now that we killed the, the bad bad. And we are encumbered. Oh, there's a wonder glue. I'm just looking to see if I've missed something. I don't, I'm just not seeing anything. Okay, we need to ditch something here. Um, probably needs to be this Badlands armor. I'd like to hang on to this radiation suit. That could come in handy later. We haven't really looted any weapons. Well, we did loot this service rifle. It's got a 3.9 uh, value to weight ratio. It's not in very good shape and it weighs eight and a half pounds. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the cup too. Okay, so that gets us back to being unencumbered. It's possible too that this comes into play later in an in a later quest. I don't know. Generally speaking, though, in Bethesda games, you can kind of just do any quest in any order you want to. So, I mean, you can handle, you know, the levels. We already, I'm pretty sure we already went up here. It was a dead end, right? Yeah, we killed a couple of ghouls. Right. Okay. We came through here and didn't find any notes or anything around this area. Just double check it in case I miss something, you know? We can't open that. We already looked in through this way. And we I believe we've searched everything that direction too. Okay, so let's go back up this way. I don't remember which direction we came from. I want to say probably this way because we have... Yeah, that looks familiar. Okay, let's go this direction then. I think we did go that direction and we couldn't go any further. One thing's for sure, we we fixed the crashing problem. Watch me crash right now, now. <laughs> After saying that, <laughs> that would suck. Now, if you guys watch that other episode, I mean, I was crashing like every two to three minutes. We've been down in here for, I don't know, how long? 40 minutes already? Something like that. There were no notes or anything there. That was that really heavy armor that wasn't really that worth that much. Maybe it is if it's uh, repaired, but it's not, so we're leaving it. Okay, let's go back through here. I want the wrench. We'll take the Abraxo too. And the turpentine. On this okay so this brings us back into the sewer so I'm gonna say that we have <clears throat> completely explored Springvale sewer north oh we got enemies again I don't remember if we which way we came did we come through here this yeah I kind of remember this room
Oh, shit. Did I have a landmine down somewhere that I didn't pick up? That would seem to imply that, huh? I can't tell if they're coming from there or from there. We cleared this room once, but that doesn't mean, you know, there aren't any more enemies. I remember coming up this kind of rickety staircase. All right, let's go this way. We're encumbered again. All right, we have to get rid of this bad lance armor. There's just no two ways about it. It's too fucking heavy. Got him. But there's more. But wait, there's more. Did we, wait a minute. No, I guess we didn't go through there. Okay, so we need to go down or in that room. Let's stay in the main tunnel for the moment. We must have come up this way. How else would these guys be dead down here? Oh, yeah. Okay, I know where I remember going through here. I do indeed. Okay, so... Hey, there's a ghoulie right there. Can we shoot through stair steps? Doesn't look like it. Oh, this is the... This is the first area that we came down below and I don't think that's a ghoul anyways I think that's just yeah that was just a a skull it's like just a maze down here man all right let's go back up this way then we we've already been through here and we came we came from that way, so let's go into this room. We've... We've been in here before, too. This is just up above the lower area. don't know if we've been in here. I want to say this is probably a new area.
don't actually want that harmonica. This this looks familiar. I think I think we have been in this room. We just hmm. Well, I don't know. Do I remember? I don't remember a place that had like a jail cell. But this door is open, so Whoa shit. I want to say we've been... I don't know. I'm so confused. This place is such a maze. Part of this room looks familiar and part of it doesn't, so... side of that wall. Yeah, there's one like right either right above us or right on the other side of this wall. But I don't see an immediate way for them to get at us. Or could be below us, too, for that matter. Alright, we know there's a bunch of dudes in there, or at least there was. Let's get some frags ready. machine Is he coming? Can't see a damn thing. It's so dark. Recognize that little jail cell area down there. We still have a caution. Still have a caution. I kind of remember those big round circular thingies though. Unless they're just the same asset in a new area. Oh, 
Okay, I think we've killed 50 feral ghouls. Look at us. We're the ghoul grinder. See, this whole desk and everything looks familiar, but unless I missed it, I would not have left a conductor behind. It's a fairly valuable and rare crafting item. Gonna have radiation in here. Okay, how are we... How are we doing? Um, we're not even close to having enough radiation to heal limb damage. Ah, oh, shit, we have ghoul rot. Well, that's lovely. <laughs> shit. Uh, I don't... I don't have any of those uh, pills that take... What's that stuff called? I can't remember what it's called. Immuno boost or whatever. Hmm. Okay, well, we're gonna have to deal with the ghoul rot here. Let's put um, let's put this on. No, not that. Uh, this. You can keep your human flesh. You can keep your baseball. But it looks like this is the end of the road. Okay, so we can't go any further that way. We're encumbered again. That's worth 105 caps. I really don't want to throw it away. Um, let's go to junk. Let's get rid of the harmonica. We're six pounds over. I'm going to ditch this and this. Let's eat these. Now we're four pounds over. Get rid of the combat knife. Three pounds over. I'm going to drink a couple purified waters. Now we're just one pound over. Let's have our vodka. Oh, we're addicted. Lovely. Uh, that has a really good value to weight ratio. But now we're not encumbered. We just can't pick anything else up. He says as he picks something else up. It was just pre-war money, though. Okay, I think we've been down here. I eh, Have we? I mean... Yeah, this kind of looks familiar. But it's hard to say. Of course, we have... Yeah, we've got dead ferals. This definitely looks familiar. Uh, no, we're not taking that. Yeah, see, all this has been looted. That probably hasn't been because I would not have left a bottle caps behind oh right this is the room with the rickety stairs yeah that all looks familiar so I guess oh shit where do they come from Okay, so that's a new area. I think.
Yeah, we have not been in here. Very easy briefcase. Springvale Sewer Armory Key. Ooh, baby. I just don't know where... I just don't know where it is. We're going to have to find it now. We might be radiated enough now to repair our limb damage. Let's take a look. Not quite yet. We're getting there, though. Okay. Now you're talking my language, man. We can't open an average locker. An armory. Question is, where is it? We did we did find that weapons locker, but that's not really an armory per se. Okay, so that's where we just were. Let's go back this way. I'm still kind of lost. Okay, we've been through Springvale Sewer North. I mean, I guess we could go... Well, see, the thing is, I don't have any weight left. And there's still ferals around. What I'm thinking maybe we should do is go... Back home. Because we're back towards the entrance now. We already went through here, right? Or not? Take a rat away. So I'm I'm wondering if see this is a room where we read about Frank and Frankie. I'm wondering if that tunnel where we just ran away from is the way to the armory, because I don't think we've been all the way through there. Okay, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the base and drop stuff off and then come back down here and go that way. Let's do it. All right, guys. I am um, quite a bit low on 556 ammo. So why don't we open this up? And we want to take our 556 cases. We're going to need lead. We're going to need rifle powder, I guess. And as far as primer pistols go, let's just take a look and see. Well, I, can we make, wait, can we make 5.56 ammo? Okay, so we need small rifle primers for that. Which I do not have. Interesting. Okay. Well, then let's grab some large pistol primers and some pistol thingies and some 45 auto cases okay so the P rounds just take more powder Let's make 65 of those. 
Because those damn things are expensive to purchase. So we need to be on the lookout for rifle primers, large rifle or just rifle primers. Okay, I want to buy uh, five, five, six rounds. You have 33. And that's it. Okay. So yeah, we're we're pretty low on five, five, six. I usually have lots of that, but we've used quite a bit of it on the ghouls. But we have 116 P rounds, so that's good for our 45. And it is in pretty good shape still. Okay, let's head on back down there. Where are those hemostatic pills? We have a caution because there's a ghoul right there. And we have another caution because there's a ghoul right there. And another caution. No more cautions. Medics. Okay, let's go take a quick look see down here. There's another ghoul. Barely see him. Okay, let's go this way for now, and we'll go the other direction later. All right, well, we got a dead end here anyway. Springvale Sewer South. Oh, I bet you the armory's that way. Okay, so let's go back down this way for a minute. Very dark down here. This door is open. So my guess is we came up through here. Yeah, okay, so this is the room that has the the jail bars around it. Gotcha, okay. So let's go into the south section. So I think we've pretty much covered every, every other area in here. As far as I can tell. This is new, though. Interesting. Let's go through here. We have a caution. 
he's down. Don't want to fall in that water. Combat stem, nice. That's probably the way we're going to go. Let's just make sure there's nothing over here. Doesn't look like it. Down in a lower section. We have another one of those big vacuum looking things. And a bunch of water. Man, I hope I don't have to go underneath that water. It does not sound like a fun time. Hey, there's our other butter knife. We just... It's raining, even though we're underground. Uh, we just won't tell our fourth guest that uh, where we got that butter knife. <laughs> when they come over for dinner. Okay, let's do an antiseptic and an improvised med kit. And we also have a bum limb, too. No, we don't. Why did, Why is that giving us the limb? Oh, our head. Shit. I don't have a doctor's bag. All right. We're messed up in the head again. Story of our life. I think there's a ghoul straight ahead of us. Gotta wait for my vision to come back. Yeah, right there. Have I mentioned how much I love this pistol? Okay. Game, please tell me I don't have to go down underneath that water. Did we... Yeah, we already looked on those metal boxes. Schools in the next room over there. Very easy lock. Ten mils. Some more five five six. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna take that stuff. Antiseptic from a feral ghoul. Exactly what you would expect to find on a creature like this. Exactly. Uh, 
I'm not going to take the lunchbox. I have a couple of those already anyway. What kind of condition is this arc light helmet in? Not the best. And yeah, it's got a terrible value to weight ratio, so I'm gonna throw it out. There's a bed. Quantum. Hmm. Guess that's it for in here. There was another another passage though on the other side of this big room out here do we yeah that's the gumdrops that I didn't want to take this lock cannot be picked it requires a key to open shit you know what I think that means I think that means we're going to have to go in the water Oh, man, this is going to suck. I guess the good part, though, is we'll get radiated enough, hopefully, to fix our head. Hopefully, there's no monsters in there. Um, all right, let's get our radiation suit on. Let's take a Rad X. Go in the water. Oh, Jesus. I can't see shit down here. Do we have a, an air? Oh, yeah, we have air. <laughs> okay. I just loot. Okay, antiseptic, duct tape, ammunition box. We don't have an air indicator, though, so I guess I have to just use... Oh, wait a minute. We do... Oh, yeah, we do. It's in the center of the screen. Gotcha. Okay. Hmm. Empty whiskey bottle. What about underneath the stairs? Well, I'm not finding a key down here. This is the only place that had anything to loot. Let's get out of this water. Our head's fixed. <laughs> well, I think it is. Is it? Uh, let's see. Stat. Yes. But now we have radiation sickness. doesn't actually show that we have radiation sickness. Hmm. Okay. That's that's fine with me. But we have loss of health cap now. Um We picked up the key to the Springvale Armory. Let's go to here. Springvale basement sewer armory key and sewer key. But there's obviously another key that we have to find for this. I would have thought for sure they would have put it under the water, but I just didn't see it.
gonna I'm gonna look around a little more here. All right. Well, I've searched everywhere I can think of in this room and have not been able to locate a key of any sort. I've been in the water again. And uh, now our health isn't in the best shape. In fact, we should probably do something about that. So, I guess I retrace my steps. And, uh... See if I can find a key somewhere else. So, we got this hole here with a desk that has stuff on it. I wonder if we're supposed to drop down there. This is the door into... Yeah, this was the door into the south section of the sewer. Alright, let's um go here. Get this back on. Do an antiseptic, a stim pack, and a bandage. And then let's drop down here. Uh, get ready for a firefight. Okay, here we go. No firefight. Oh, is that the door? I'll bet you that that's the door. Okay. Nice. We'll take stim packs and ammunition. Beautiful. Forty five pistol. Mintats, cigarettes. All right, can we open this door from the inside? It doesn't. We can't. Activate terminal. Disengage lock. Okay, so that got us into here. But we still haven't found the armory. This room's com uh, completely looted. And I think we're done with the south section of the sewer. So where do we go from here? This wasn't really... I wouldn't call this an armory. We found like one weapon in here, right? Okay, well, I, uh... There's not really any, any place else to go in here as far as I can tell. Unless I missed something, which is entirely possible. This leads out to the main room of the sewer. Or at least the place we originally came in to. Uh, I wonder if I just missed another door somewhere. This door. We haven't been in that door. Okay, before we... Before we do that, I just want to get my bearings here. So this is the entrance. That's a dead end. That's the water we swam down into and got a pip or a stealth boy. Uh, the first time we came down here. I don't think we can go any further. Well, okay, there's that door too. 
So there's actually two doors that we haven't been in yet. And the first time I came in here, I, I didn't have high enough lock picking skill to open those doors. Okay, so now we have a couple of leads. Uh, let's try this door first. It looks like we've already been in here. Yeah, this is just the same room. Okay. I thought it was over here. Or is that the same door that we just opened? Just from the other side. Yeah, I think, I think that was the same door. It was just this one here. There's a safe. Maintenance master key, Springvale bomb shelter key. Okay, there was one very hard door that we couldn't get into. So that might, oh, no tumbler fumbler, pick 25 locks. Okay, so I missed that. Uh, we're back in the, in the north section of the sewer, by the way, where we fought the, the glowing one. I don't think we can go, yeah, we can't go any further than this. Okay, so that's some progress. I missed some stuff here, obviously. Um, but I think we last time I was in here, I was like really encumbered. There's the glowing one that we killed. All right, let's go back to that other door then. That I couldn't open. It was over by where that security camera light was. All right, so... This way is blocked. Can't go any further that way. But this is the door I couldn't open. Let's see if we can open it now. Yes. All right. Back in business. Um, let's get a kind of frag mine here. Huh? Oh. Maybe I'm just that sounds like a ghoul. coming this direction. What was that? Must either be on the other side of that wall or right up the. Maybe I'm just jumpy. Right up above us. Did that. Did that feral see me or not? There. Maybe I'm just jumpy.
Maybe I'm just jumpy. Okay, that's just a dead end. Anybody there? Maybe I'm just jumpy. There's nothing here. Hmm, I was sure I heard something. Okay, let's go look around this corner huh? real quick. Okay, we have a door, an operations door there. Hmm, I was sure I heard something. What's that say? Oh, there's the armory. Oh, nice. Okay. Anybody there? And a very easy locked door. Huh? Okay, let's get into the armory first. Anybody there? Sure, I heard something. All right, so it looks like there's some kind of a force field blocking whatever that glorious looking weapon is right there. Anybody there? Oh, yeah, this is where Anybody we want to be. Um, it looks like a double barrel. Yeah, it is a what double barrel shotgun. So, we apparently we need to figure out how to unlock that force field. A security helmet. What kind of shape is it in? Pretty decent shape. Not as good as our combat helmet, though. Alright, let's just keep it in here for now. Anybody there? How are we doing on weight? 260 say. Yeah, we're getting close. Ten millimeter submachine gun. All right, I think what I want to do here is wait. Maybe I'm just jumpy. Wait until we clear the enemies because once I start picking all this stuff up, what was that? We're going to get encumbered again. Okay. So let's go check out this oper huh? operation store. We'll leave that frag mine there for now. Huh? Nice. There's a lot of loot in here. Okay, again, let's... Let's get the deal with the enemy first. Um, somewhere, though, there's got to be something that disables that force field. Maybe it's in the room where the ghoul is. Okay. This has been quite the dungeon crawl. So we got that door there. Um, don't remember. Was there a door this way? No. Huh? Okay. Don't think we need that there any longer. Anybody there? I think what I'll do though is I'll put uh, frag mine down here. I was sure I heard something. Okay, let's open this door. Found you. Shows that we're hidden. There was 
two guys in here. Crazed ghoul. They weren't that crazed. I mean, they were sentient. They weren't... Hadn't, oh, nice. Look at all the water. Hadn't lost their minds. Wow, look at this place. Smoking a stoke. Um, okay, so do I can't believe how much stuff is in here. Can I just reach and grab that through that force field or am I gonna get zapped? <laughs> Let's do a quick save here. Hmm. Can't seem to get to it. All right, I just noticed something. Emergency operation procedures. That just looked like a, a piece of paper on the floor. Um, let's see. Maybe that's what we need to know. Uh, let's see. We want to go to data. Miscellaneous. Okay, Springvale Security Emergency Operation Procedures. No less than three security staff are to accompany Mr. X and his relatives from Checkpoint to Delta to his personal shelter. Security personnel are forbidden to enter the bomb shelter without express permission from Mr. X. Three security staff are required to patrol all sectors of Springvale sewer at all times once the bomb shelter has been sealed. Security staff are required to work 12-hour shifts, three on three, three off, or three on three off. In the case of a level 2 security breach or higher, all security personnel are to report for duty until the breach has been resolved. In the event Mr. X does not make it to Checkpoint Delta, security staff are to remain on site for a period of at least one year before evacuation procedures can be initiated. In the event of an evacuation, all keys are to be left with the foreman, J. Daniels, for appropriate safekeeping. All terminal data is to be erased, then all relevant drives destroyed, along with hard copies. The 4D containment unit is also to be also to be disabled in the armory lockdown to deter looters. Okay, the 4D containment unit is also to be disabled. What is a 4D containment unit? Um okay, I I'm there's no clues in here that are popping out at me here. Security staff required to work 12 Shifts, level two security breach or higher, all security personnel to report for duty until the breach. The event Mr. X does not make it to checkpoint Delta, security staff are to remain on site for a period of at least one year. In the event of an evacuation, all keys are to be left with Foreman J. Daniels. That's probably the that safe we just looted. All terminal data is to be erased then all relevant drives destroyed along with hard copies. The 40 containment unit is also to be disabled and the armory locked down to deter looters. Um. Alright. So that's just dandy, but that doesn't tell me jack shit. <laughs> forgetting, forgetting this thing un unlocked. Okay, I'll keep looking around and I'll bring you back if I find something new. All right, guys. Um, so here's the thing. <clears throat> I couldn't figure out how to get to those weapons, and I decided I didn't want to spend any more time on it, and so I decided to see if I could get a little bit of a hint off the Internet, and I'm glad that I did because, long story short, uh, apparently you're not meant to get those weapons at all. Um, by the way, the thing, the the mod that adds the uh, Springvale Sewer and all the additional, you know, questing content is called A World of Pain. Um, and the, uh, it's either, either Tale of Two Wastelands, but, but I think Capital Punishment actually 
adds a modification to that modification called sweet pain, which kind of removes some of the some things from a world of pain. And one of the things that it m removed was that 4D uh, thing thing of a jigger. Uh, let's see what was it called. This uh, 4D something. Yeah, 4D containment unit, which is apparently some kind of containers that were used in their original World of Pain. Um, so, so I don't have those at all because the other mod removes those. And apparently you needed, you needed to use that for something, but they were saying in the comments that I read, it was, I was a Reddit article or a Steam article. I can't remember. Um, they basically said you're, you're, you can't get those weapons behind the force field. They're just there for decoration. If that's true or not, um, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get them. So, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> I have also just FYI, uh, went back and got fixed up, sold a bunch of stuff. I, at one point I had over 2000 caps, but then I bought a bunch of things and had to spend quite a bit of money to, you know, repair, but you fix myself up, you know, with all the radiation, um, did another batch of, of water. So now we have 12 more purified water that we can add to here. And I slept and all that good stuff. So we're basically ready to uh, we got 21 purified water now it's a beautiful thing uh, we're basically ready to start the next episode which of course we will do in the next episode <laughs> so yeah that would uh, that uh, whole uh, springvale sewer crawl uh, overall was actually a lot of fun and there's going to be more um you know content extra add-on content that we'll run into too as we go continue to go through the playthrough i'm more familiar with some of the stuff that a world of pain added to new vegas because i did use that mod back when i played uh but not you know i'm not familiar really with what it added to fallout 3 so it'll be fun you know to continue uh running into those sorts of things all right guys well that's going to be it for this episode hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode Bye bye